religious war is over, Erufai mocks Peter B as a Scott offense president in Obo's victory. So Erufai that was that had gone into uh silos or gone into 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 quietness is out again. Where is this speaking from? Is this from Netherlands or from Beirut in Lebanon? Okay. Uh, so we need to know. He's not saying that religious war is over. So why? Who can do religious war more than the Muslims in this in this country? The Nigeria Muslims have been most violent and have killed more Christians, have killed more innocent people than ever, and the brain behind terrorism in Nigeria. So who else can be more uh, religiously violent than the Muslims? I don't know. Okay. okay. So Bashar Erufai, okay, son of the former governor of Cardinal State, Nasai Erufai, has voiced his sentiment on the recent uh, Supreme Court verdict which validated the electoral victory of President Balatinubu, taking to his Twitter handle, Erufai succinctly declared religious war is over in what may see uh, as a triumphant response to the finality brought about by the APES court's decision. Religious war is over. Hmm. So the term religious war alludes to a controversial leaked audio that circulated during the election campaign. In this audio, Peter B was allegedly heard con conversing with Bishop Oyedepo, urging him to support his campaign in churches situated uh, in the northern region of Nigeria. The insinuation drawn from the audio was that the election between Obi and Tinubu was a matter of religious uh, contention. Hmm. So regarding the legality surrounding the election, the Supreme Court judgment came as a divisive as a decisive response to Peter B's appeal challenging President Tinubu's electoral victory. One of the significant contentions from Peter B was an assertion about Vice President Kassim Shetima's alleged double nomination, implying his ineligibility to serve as Tinubu's running mate. However, the Supreme Court emphatically addressed and dismissed this point, reinforcing President Tinubu's opposition, position as, dem as democratically elected leader of Nigeria. As the nation navigates the political aftermath of the Supreme Court decision, Erufai tweets provides a perspective on the collective sentiment of many who view this judgment as the end of a contentious chapter in Nigerian politics. Okay, so that is exactly what uh, Erufai son actually. So it's Erufai son that is speaking here, not Erufai himself. Okay, uh, so the son Bashar Erufai. Who has actually been very controversial in the north because under his father's regime is now seen uh saying that uh, the 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 victory that supreme court has awarded to tinubu has ended the religious war between peter b and the uh, tinubu or otherwise between labor party and apc because labor party is actually muslim christian ticket why apc is a muslim muslim ticket Okay, and that is where that religious uh, phenomenon is coming from. But unfortunately, Nigeria has proven that judiciary is for nobody and for nobody. Okay. So, um, Bashir Erufai is now saying that uh, it's end to religious war. Let's see if it actually be end to religious war, because actually the Christians are not behind the religious war in Nigeria. It has always been the Muslims. And the next thing now, they are going to start parceling out Nigeria for themselves and are going to cause a lot of hard work to people in Nigeria. It's an unfortunate situation. I tell you, what a country. Really, what a country. So let's see a few comments here. Um, someone is saying, don't mind Peter Obi. Okay. All right. Oh. And uh, they are already encouraging themselves there. Okay. And uh, somebody said, an Islamic jihadist now calling an innocent man religious by God. Every five, we know you and we are waiting for you in Kaduna, a hater of Christians in Nigeria. I pity all those ignorant Christians who are yet to have sense over the tricks of this demonic Islamic jihadist. 
Okay, so this person is writing, well, this is Erufai's son, not Erufai himself. Okay, not Erufai himself, but again, they are one and the same. So I don't mind the embarrassed uh, Rufai disqualified minister. It's not Erufai himself that is talking, it's actually his uh, son that is talking. Somebody said, which Nigeria, I think, maybe uh, Nigerian, it was not present Nigeria, where some people did not know who is Peter will be, okay, throughout their life. Can you imagine? Thank God an end have come to bad rubbish of a video hurricane phenomena. No, wahala. Nigeria should get ready to eat the water water. Silence is the best answer to a big food. They already sorted themselves there. They don't have to sort themselves. Yes, so no more. Yes, daddy. A guy will be, will be religion man. Sorry. Can you imagine? So who is talking eh? and who is hypocrite here? Okay. How is it now become public matter? How a man worship his God? Okay. How does this matter affect short men? It's unfortunate. Yes, indeed. Religious and tribal war. Now, in the history of Nigerian politics, no politician has played the religion politics like you. Can you imagine? Yes, like uh, Erufai himself. Erufai has played, been a religious fanatic for a very long time. And I've never seen, okay, I have ever seen life. So, do you have good moral to speak about Peter Obi now? How come Obi doesn't attend church services again? Uh, who told you he doesn't attend? He's a strong Catholic and he still attends his Catholic. So how do you know who attends services from your room eh, when you don't know the way to church? <laughs> now, wow. Does the press follow him the, uh, the way they followed him during campaign now? I beg, open another chapter. Will be the entertainer of 2023. That is what they think. Now, what for Nigeria? I am telling you, the country is less now that they have won. Let's see how Nigeria will get better because the state of things in Nigeria right now is quite unfortunate. It's quite not a very good one for Nigerians. So, something 